Hello guys, in this video we are going to analyze the aluminium section of pin and tube heat exchanger. In this, the tube carries a hot fluid while the exterior surface experiences a convective condition. Now, before we start, I would like to say that if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel as it helps me to make more and more videos. Now, we are going to start. Please drag the steady state thermal in the dialog box project dialog and then click on engineering data we will select the material which will be used that is aluminium in the engineering data source general material and add aluminium alloy here we can see the properties of aluminium alloy now back to the project in the geometry we will import the geometry of the fin tube which is already made and converted into stp format to save time and then click on model In the model the first thing we will do is check the units as it is essential that the unit should be according to our ways ok that's it's fine now in the geometry here we see the fin tube we will change the material from structural steel to aluminium alloy and now in the mesh settings we will do the nominal mesh setting uh, as required there are many other things in the meshing but in this example we will do the simple mesh uh, setting that is fine uh, so that we can get a approximately good result there are other techniques which I will discuss uh, maybe in other video but for now it is ok now the mess has been done click on steady state thermal and select the inner surface through which the fluid will flow we will add a temperature to it and in the magnitude we will select function the temperature uh, will be subjected to a function as at the inlet it will be 200 degrees celsius and gradually it will decrease so in the magnitude type 200 minus 0 0.25 y y ok uh, 0 0.25 into y now now it's okay change it to y and in the range 0 and here 200 maximum range now we see that the temperature ranges from 200 to 150 now 
go back to the analysis setting right click on select all and do not select the inner surface and in rest of the other select the convection the convection select tabular and independent of temperature now in the temperature we will uh, add different values according to the table uh, the table which I will enter will be my data you can use any other data at uh, 40 0 0.007 at uh, 60 0 0.007 now select uh, the temperature and convection by using control and drag it to solution here we can see reaction probe and uh, one and two insert temperature and also insert total heat flux and click on solve the solution will take a few minutes here uh, there is a uh, change in uh, unit so we will change the magnitude uh, in the function from 200 uh, minus 0 0.025 into y to uh, 200 minus 0 0.0025 into y and now again select uh, solve because the temperature order was very different so I check the units uh, the units should be accordingly so now the result will be good as now it shows that the maximum temperature is 200 degrees Celsius and the minimum is 150 degrees Celsius now we can see the results the temperature range from 200 to 150 degrees celsius here we can see the animation the heat flux the heat flux through the display 